Greetings Internet, I am Richard James aka Warlord UK and in a break from playing Telltale games all the damn time I figured I'd play one of my personal favourite platformers, Banjo-Kazooie. Now I'm going to start a full fresh game because as you can see quite clearly there in less than 10 hours I 100%ed the game myself so let's go to save file 2 and jump right in. Now, for those who don't know Banjo Kazooie, it was originally on the Nintendo 64. Now, I didn't personally have a Nintendo 64, my sister did. And we did have this game. I wasn't very good at it, but I didn't have much time to really practice on it. But what I did play, I really enjoyed, and when Rare Replay came out, it was a case of there's no way I wasn't going to buy it. Any chance to get to play this game again. Since then, I have completed Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. I tried to play Nuts and Bolts. I would advise avoid, uh, avoiding that at all possible costs. It is horrendously bad. Also, as people have probably noticed from the Neon Line stream, the camera angles on this game were horrendously bad. And at points, could actually hinder your progress within the game. But uh, we're going to try and battle our way through that. And hopefully make a decent stream. I'm looking to be going till about midnight. That's a good two hour stream. See how far we get. I'm hoping to at least get the first two levels completely cleared and make a good dent on the third level. All things going to plan, that's what will happen. But uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. As like I said, the camera angles can really uh, hinder progress on this. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll do the whole game or if I'll 100% it. I'll do as much as I feel necessary to do. And the last boss, my god, the final boss of this was just so difficult. Even when I had to replay it. You're right there, Sean. Things are going right for us at the Northern Drunk Tank. That'll be a first. For those who don't know, we've had a quite stressful day trying to uh, record uh, some new episodes of our series that we're working on. Sean's being memory box and Mine's still been a work in progress because I've just been stressing about recording all day. But uh, hopefully we'll get around all these issues and get some stuff up on YouTube for you soon to enjoy. Anyway, time to wake up a lazy ass bear. I think I'll skip the tutorial bit of this, but I'll still uh, go around and collect all the honeycomb pieces because any excuse to have a bit of extra health, always great. Uh, let's see how much I remember because it, it's been a few months since I've cleared this and as I said I have cleared the second one and the, uh, well, tried to play Nuts and, uh, the, is it Nuts and Bolts the third one? The horrendously shameful game that it was. There is also a glitch in this Banjo Kazooie game where if you, uh, for some reason, if you do the puzzles within the house, uh, you can't actually 100% the game. You have to do get all the collectibles that before the final boss, then if you want to go and do the puzzles in Banjo Kazooie's house, you're free to do so. But uh, I think it's like three or four of the notes won't appear in the very last level in a, a beehive. Which means you can't 100% the game. And I did that on my first playthrough and got really annoyed because I didn't know about it. But I, will be, uh, I won't be doing the puzzles this time at all because even when I did do them they were infuriating and I already have the achievement for doing them. So I don't need to do them again. Ah, always nice to see Goggles is alive. Spoilers for the second one. All these games are old at this point. If you didn't know that, that's your own problem. Goggles is the one that uh, does teach you all your moves throughout this game. So you have to find him in each level to learn something new. Well, I think he's only in like the first half set of the level, so you don't, you don't really see him for the whole game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm already good enough. If I say I'm good enough, I hope I remember the controls. Otherwise, this could be quite amusing. Right. There's my attack. Jump. Oh, yeah, I've got to learn the dash later. So, let's go collect some honeycomb pieces. It should be just enough to get uh, one extra full honeycomb life piece. So, we're going to be running around here for a little while. That's one of seven. This should be fun. It's supposed to be basically you collect these to learn the basics of the game and how to control Banjo. And it is literally just the basics because you do learn a lot more skills. But pretty much all of them I never use. Unless you absolutely have to. As soon as I get the run ability though, that'll be in, uh, utilized quite a lot. Because, as you see, Banjo isn't exactly the fastest. And I probably will rage rather hard at the uh, camera angles at this for a while. It does get infuriating. Come on, out we get. There we go. Right, now I've got to find the, uh, the off ramp just come back over here. Already the camera's just uh, twitching and jiggering on me, that's lovely. Thanks game. Well, at least you proved my point early on. Uh, I'm going to this one up here as well. There we go. Uh, then I've got to go and face some enemies on here somewhere. Oh, get off there. Ah, suck it, bitch. Now, these I think I have to do the dash move at. There we are. There are these. And that one. And one more should do it. Another honeycomb piece, thank you very much. There's just one more to go, and that's uh, up in this little garden area here. Okay, so just beat all the enemies and you'll get a honeycomb piece. Or just beat one because you don't have to do the tutorial. <laughs> And that's uh, an extra life health, bit of health there. Not an extra life, extra lives of little statues on this game. But yeah, this game was a lot of fun until I got to the final boss. There is a, a wasp level on this, and my god, it is annoying. But uh, I'm sure you'll hear all about that once I get to that level. Because I'll probably be shouting at that a lot as well. But all the other levels are a lot of fun and relatively straightforward to do. Come on, bottle, shut up. Let's get on with it now. I know what I'm doing. Although, how the hell he gets there? All the, why do you just use the bridge like normal people instead of digging down and into the place? Strange. Take the long way around, why don't you? Oh, another useful thing, whenever you uh, quit out of the game, it actually gives you a game over. Like, yeah, because we've all got 10 hours to sit on our asses and get through the entire game, haven't we? I'm saying that, I pretty much do these days. I do have a lot of time to play games, which is why I'm streaming a lot lately. If I do play it all the way through, don't expect me to start doing Banjo 2 though, because that is a very long game. I, mean, I think I racked like just over 24 hours playing it. Although it was an absolutely excellent game, Banjo 2, and I do recommend people play that as well. It's more something you play in your own time, it's very long.
I may as well wait to start phasing in this. I'm really excited for uh, Ukulele, the spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie, whenever that does come out. It did very well in its uh, Kickstarter. And rightly so, proving that we want this game badly. Oh yeah, I've got to go up here first, aren't I? And do the jigsaw. Yeah. You don't actually have to do a jigsaw, you just push a button and it automatically puts the piece in for you. It's the second one where you actually have to do a jigsaw itself. Well, not terribly difficult in the second one. It can get quite tedious after a while because it's, it's like 10 or so levels and constantly having to do jigsaw per level. But rather annoying. But it could be worse. It could be like the puzzles from Badger Kazoo's house in this one. They really are ridiculously annoying. It can be very difficult to do. There we go, level one, Mumbo's Mountain. Watch me run around and try to remember where everything is. Oh, there's a Jinjo. Oh, have I got the big jump yet? I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. High jump. Oh, there. Little token there. I'm trying to go up there yet. I need the uh, the run ability to get up there. Oh yes, yeah, Sean, you can laugh at me doing that fucking fish and that fucking chain soon enough. Don't worry, because it is very irritating to do. It is all part of that water level I was talking about in the intro, and uh, <laughs> I will probably end up raging a lot at that. But as much as I love this game, the camera angles were. They were just terrible, and the control of it just really, really wound you up sometimes. Like now. <laughs> the camera's technically stuck where it is, so I have to turn it round and come out like that. It really does get on your nerves. Still great game. I'm not slagging the game down at all. I really do love this game. It's just, they could have spent a bit of time on the camera. There we go, went out. And also these early levels are easier, I should be able to get everything collected on them early on. Especially this level. Oh, not fast enough that time. There we go. Run over here. At least we were generous with health on this one. There we go. Gets me a jiggy. Yes, I know how many jiggies are in the world. I never saw my Kazooie eats the jiggies though. You know, she could just take them off here and put them in the backpack, but no, she actually literally hit. You even hear her swallow them. She gulps. I'll take that. I'm going to Diddy Kong over here, because these were literally just rip off some Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong off there. That's... There we go. That's another Jiggy. Oh, uh thank -huh. you. Got the eggs, so we need these. Here's one of the molehills, uh, X, that's it. And the right button to press. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. Yes, I know, press Y to shoot. Come on, speed through. Please don't rely on my guides to get you through a game, because I do spend half my time running around getting lost. Although these early stages I do know quite well, you'll find later on, I will be like, uh, where do I go now? That's the thing I racked up like an hour and a half on the last level alone. Let's not include the boss. Final boss I spent nearly a day just trying to beat her. Every level as well has one of these uh, switches. I don't think I have the move, no I haven't got the drill beak yet so I can't use it. Yeah, you'll drill beat that and 
that'll unlock a Jiggy out in the main overworld. Back up here. Alright. Let's take you out. Alright, he's gonna throw one at me. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Suck it. Two. I think there's two at me now, don't they? One, two. And that's it, rule of three. You know the rule of three bosses. Give me that jiggy. Oh, we're getting jiggy with it. down. Oh, that's it, camera angle. Stay with me now. Right. He's having a learn of runnability. Should just be up here somewhere. On the left, if I remember correctly. Oh, watch out for the termites. Yep, yeah, there it is. This will help uh, Kazooie to run. And also help me run up steeper hills. This way it'll get quite annoying because you'll hear Kazooie's uh, <laughs> run noise. I, I'll pretty much be using that for the rest of the game. It's just a faster way of getting round. <laughs> Chill your beans there, Ginger. I can hear ya. Need to get the. Uh... Oh, there it is. The token. Chill your beans up there, I'm coming for you. Oh, stuck in a wedge, why don't I? Steady. Easy. Enjoy! A few eggs while I'm up here. Right. Let's collect some more of these. The one good thing about collecting everything within the game is when it comes to the final, it literally doubles everything for you. I mean, you get like a full double health bar, you get like double eggs, I mean, it just gives you a load of stuff. Whereas all you need in Banjo Tooie is the Cheeto pages, because you end up getting a uh, regeneration Cheeto page. And basically after that, you know anything vulnerable because your health just regenerates that quick. Please don't get me wrong, he's great. I could have used it for this boss more than the boss in the second one. Angel 2 his boss was easy. Ooh, gotta get up there. There we go. Another token. One more token to get in this level. Come on. There we go. Do the banjo roll. Oh, gotta learn another ability. There we go. I've got my slam ability now. Pretty much all the abilities I tend to use. Oh, well, it takes a whole next game for you to learn the grip grab. Which means you can grab onto a ledge. Go figure. But like that, so let's destroy some people's houses. Thank you. I'll take all those notes. Some eggs, that'll do. Thank you very much. Obviously, I'll grab myself the token so I can go and see... Uh, Mumbo Jumbo in a minute. So he can give me my ability. We may as well finish everything out in the other world first. Which means collect everything I possibly can. Oh. Suck at you. Oh. Ginger. Oh yeah, all the gingers. That's another jiggy. You've got to save the gingers because later in the game you want to see the gingerator. Yes, I know you're an extra life. 
I just want the jiggy for now. That's six. That one. Because it can stay in a straight line. Top of it. And there's the honeycomb piece. It's one of, I think, three in this level, I think. I'll have to double check that in a minute. Come on, there we go. That's another jiggy. Alright, let's go have a look down here now. There's a jiggy. Yeah, whatever you say there, Sean. Whatever floats your boat. I think this is the last of the... No, no not the last of the There's a few more. I think they're in uh, Mumbo Jumbo's skull. I doubt they're in the ant hill. Soon find out. Anyway, let's get this uh, jiggy up here. There we go. Oh, no, don't. Well, let's finish off collecting some things first. Oh. Not yet, Bombo. Not yet. Soon, though. Yes, because we'll give him the skulls and he'll turn us into a termite, but I don't need to do that just yet. I've got to go and activate the switch. I always check the rim of uh, Mumbo Jumbo's hut because there always tends to be something up here. Sometimes it's something really useful like uh, honeycomb pieces or even a jiggy. Other times you just get a few extra feathers or, as you've seen there, you get some eggs. Another honeycomb piece I need to go and get just over here. Oh, I'll have to probably get out of the turn, might be easier. Although I can get it as I am, it's just a bit easier to get it as a turn out. Now, let's go and hit the Gruntilda switch, which will give us access to a jiggy outside the level. Oh, apparently the real just Sean's online. And he's in my chat at the same time. That's interesting. Choose your priorities there, Sean. Or was that just an excuse to invade my stream? And slam it. I will be showing you how to get that shortly because even I struggled trying to get that originally. Yes, I know you're setting up for later, Sean. For those who don't know, Sean will be playing some uh, Borderlands pretty much straight after my stream. So, please go and check that out. Support the Northern Drunk Tank. I don't know why I tried to go for that again. I really should have just waited until I've turned into a because I've got to do that next anyway. Now, this will get very annoying. Because, uh playing as a termite, I have to climb up the termite mound and it's really, really annoying to do. Let me just check, I've got everything in this level so far that I know I need to get. A few totals. Yep. I don't know where everything else is, so that's not a problem. Let's change into a termite and start wrapping this level up and we can move on to the next one then. I'll be banjo before I can press X. Doesn't let me just do it for anything. Yeah, I know it's free once you paid for it. Both of they are very generous with those tokens. Which they really need to be because you can get quite if you're trying to find some. The very last level has a load of them. They're just everywhere. 
Get over here, get the honeycomb piece. Oh, nope, that's the two honeycomb pieces for this level. Now to get the last jiggy. Watch out for the termites. Even though you turn into one of them, they still don't like you. Because you want your shorts and your backpack. Could have a motorcycle, they probably want that as well. This is where it gets very annoying. Oh! Fuck off! Beer. Oh, yes, this is where bad camera angles and being crap at platformers comes really into play. Oh, come on. There we go, that's the first bit done. Alright, come on you, move out of the way. That's right, worth it, I've now got all 100 of the uh, notes in this world. So, just gotta get the last jiggy. Which is at the top of this, so I may be here for a little while. This is quite annoying to do. Oh, oh I'm right at the bottom. <sighs> fails just keep coming, people. The fails just keep coming. And try again. I know you're all probably laughing at me at home at this point, thinking, oh, what a noob. And you'd be right. Oh, I've done it again. You actually forgot that it was a 360 game, did you, Sean? So it'll show up. Yes, it does do that. Right, there we go. Let's put some more eggs. Hell. I think this is the last level. Yeah, and out here should be... Oh, there's an extra life as well. I'll take that, thank you. Tease it now. Tease it around the edge. Oh, tease it around the edge and get to the tip. Oh, tippy toppers. That's ten jiggies in a level. Yeah, normally Banjo would do a little dance around about there, but because I'm in a transform mode, you won't do it. Now, to get that last jiggy that's outside the world, stay with the termite and leave the level. Now, you can't go very far in your transformations in this, unlike Banjo 2, where you can actually change levels. In this one, you can stay for a short while in the transformation form, but you will uh, change back eventually. And there we go. That's another overworld jiggy. Oh, and enemies will start spawning in outside the levels once you've done them. There you go. Gets weak. A little bit further. And I change back. Alright. That's level one. Fully done, people. Time to move on to level two. This is personally one of my favourite levels. It's a lot more fun. Take care of you, get some health. There we go. Get that collectoritis. Have to collect it if I see it. Now, not every level can be fully cleared as you go along because you've got to learn some later abilities to come back. There's only a couple of levels really like that, but it's worth noting that not every level can be 100%ed each time you go into it. Come on, Goggles, shut up. Let's get through the door now. Yes, I know they do. Come on. Alright. Open the door. There we go. Get a groove on. Banjo rocking out as he does. I know that door, do Oh. Now, we have to make notes of all of these. But... This is Gruntilda. Gruntilda's nice sister. She gives you a lot of information about Gruntilda to help you finish the last quiz stage. Now, I'm not going to really take much note of them here, but in my own time I'll probably go through all of them and write everything down that she says. Just because you do need them for the, uh, the last stage. Ooh, tuna ice cream flavour toothpaste. So a bit fishy about that. 
That's just Grease Lightning. <laughs> From Saggy Maggie's Boutique, eh? She'll give you free every time you find her. So, always make sure you don't talk to her. I don't need to remove pieces. I'm just going to put them all in. I know what I'm doing, goggles. Shut up. There we go. Treasure Trove Cove. Let's go and pop into the chest. Uh, this is where I get the first cauldron, although these are very useless early on. Run! Yeah, that's the first cauldron. Absolutely useless until you find it's matching one. But uh, best activating them when you find them. Let's see if I can try and find all of them, but I'm not that bothered about looking for them, they're not important. Miss one of the eggs here, don't I? Yep, there we go. All the eggs collected. Oop. Right. Uh, oh, that's one of the jump pads that I'll get later. Now, up here. Let's head to Treasure Trove Cove. And directly down there, but can we actually open one of the other things at the moment? I think there is another... Is it in here or is it in the bottom bit? It's not here yet. It's the bottom bit. There's another cauldron I can activate. Might as well do it now while I can. Get them out of the way. There you go. I need to be slow to enjoy uh, burgers and chips. Animal. I don't know, we'll jump there so I don't lose any health. <laughs> Soundtrack to this was amazing. Right, Treasure Trove Cove, level 2. Now, there's a Jinjo down there, and it is very annoying to get, because you've got to swim for it. And there's going to be a uh, shark that comes to attack you. I'm trying to swim in a straight line in this is now on impossible. So I always try and get this one done out of the way first. Because of how infuriating it is. Got him! There we go. That's out of the way. Unfortunately, that will not be the last time we see uh, the shark. Because there's more things I need to do. And for those who don't know, this is a mini boss sort of thing. If you beat him, you'd get an achievement, which I already have. Right. Again, rule of three, you only need to meet him three times. He'll try and attack you three times. One, two, three. Then dive in, give him a peck to the head, and back up a bit. One, two, three. And then peck to the head. And one more time. And in we go. That's him defeated. Pop on his side and get our prize. A few more notes. There should be a jiggy at the back here. I think some enemies in here somewhere. Yeah, there we are. Oh, meant to do the slam. Didn't do it. There we go. If you slam, the crabs actually give you two health instead of one. Which is great. Especially as I've been taking a bit of damage from that bloody shark. Right. And up we go. Another jiggy in the back. do with this little section. Let's leave and go and get a honeycomb piece that's just next to this. Really should remember I've got to keep turning into Katsui. And down we go. Yeah, I know you're coming, you suck it. I only want the honeycomb piece and I'm going back out then. Sod off! Shag. Yeah, get to my nerves. There we go. Suck it. Right, get my health back. 
Let's head to the pirate ship next and do what, uh, what needs to be done over here. Oh, camera angles. Let's grab some uh, notes up here. Steady. Easy. There we go. Whoop. And then up the other tree. Just tease it that way. There we go. And then up that way. And one more there. Bang tidy. Right, let's just tease a hole in the side of the bolt there. We're going in that. And click the gold. That's what uh, the whinging pirate wants. My honeycomb, my uh, sorry, my notes, not honeycomb pieces. Oop. No, we're not leaving just yet. Let's get the gold. There we go. Yes, I know your blubber's treasure. We're going to give you back in a minute. Calm down. We are the heroes, after all. We're not trying to steal it. So, head up here. That's all these. Put the spin around there. Bring around the roses there, and then back down the other side. Right, let's get you a piece of gold. Geronimo! Right. Ooh, steady now, easy. There we go. It's easy now, slowly does it. Slowly, slowly catch him, okay? There we go, we've got his two gold. Two gold stacks. Got my, there we go. My little uh, token. Now, Bumbo Jumbo's not in every level. I'm pretty sure in this level he's not in it. But still keep collecting them tokens, because it does get very expensive. Alright, here we go. One, two. Give me the jiggy. Take his money and go. I don't think we technically see him again until uh I think it's Banjo Tui comes back. Well, you know he's in trouble again in Banjo Tui. Right, let's learn the fly ability now. Because apparently Kazooie doesn't know how to fly without a bit of help from a mole. Mole, 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 mole. Yeah, come on, teach me to fly. Make my way back home and learn to. That should be it. Another genius for my collection. Take off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to fly high. I'm just gonna pop over here first. Back a bit, so well done. Boing! Oh, took the damage. Let's try that again. Stopped off, Shark. Off getting a bloody ride. Oh, yeah, we're really just gonna wait there to get eaten. That'd be a smart idea if anyone wanted to do, wouldn't it? Shark's chasing you. Oh, let's just wait here and get eaten. What's the worst that could happen? I'm right in him. Nope, can't land in him. And I think I'm just not. Oh, wait, there we go. This has made it on the island. Uh, Bazinga. That's another jiggy. It did take a lot of damage to get that jiggy, but we've got it, that's the main thing. Alright. Time to. Head back up again. Now we've got to go and fly to the right side instead of the left. Which will take us to a doorway, which will lead us to the upper area. Technically you can fly up here, but as there's a note there, probably best if I just go that way. There we go. Up to the lighthouse. I've just realised I probably shouldn't have come up here yet, because I bet there's a jump pad I've got to use, isn't there, first? I haven't learned that ability yet, because that's back at the bottom. Ah, 
Oh, I can get ginger while I'm here. Come here, ginger. Uh, I want to have a look anyway. I'm pretty sure I need the, uh, the jump pad ability. Probably best not running up here, take your time a bit. Nice and slow. Easy now. Nearly there. Hammer up here. Right. Uh, there's the Gruntilda switch. That was nice and easy to get. You've got to climb the other side of the ship when you leave a level, and you will get it. Nice and easy. Boosh. That. A few more notes. And a jiggy on top. Oh, I don't say I have to actually have the jump pad. Oh yeah, because you don't have the grip grab in this game, do you? Oh dear. Well, I'll have to come back up here in a bit. Let's go and uh, learn the ability to uh, jump higher on a pad. Frankly, he's only over here. There it is. Come on, goggles. Teach us. I guess Amore's name is Bosses, but... Because you call him goggles, I'm sticking with that. Shout out to Sean. Oh, you mean the island out in the middle of nowhere over there? Yeah, I can go in there. Don't need to, I've already got the egg. I think it carries over to any save file. Yes, if you have a Banjo uh, Tui save file, it unlocks all these stop and shop items for you to find. I can pick them up as well, might as well. But I already have them. But I know a lot of people don't know where they are. At the moment, I am sucking badly. Ginger, that's probably the best thing to do. Boing. Take advantage of it. There we go. Right, now head over this way. And oh, it's gonna drop down. What an idiot. Uh, nope, they did it again. Let's still get back on there. Oh, what is up with me today? I am sucking badly at this. Alright, jump, and there we go. Another jiggy. Finally. Yeah, don't worry, Sean. I'll get the stop and swap thing, but I'll do that probably after I've done everything else on the level. Like, wrap up the level by doing the stop and swap stuff. As I will do with any level that has stop and swap items in it. So those who don't know where they are, will be able to find them. Right, let's take you out, I need some health badly. Right, I'm sucking so badly today. Right, I've lost a lot of health. Alright, go over here, get the honeycomb piece. Come on, make it, make it. There we go. Sniff my ass. Or sniff it. Run away! <laughs> Banjo Kazooie team there. Trying to make a Jaws like theme tune. Oh, what have these got? That's got notes in it. I want that one. So. Boing! Now, thanks for a minute, and out we go. What's your mate over there got in him? Feathers. I'm not really needing any more feathers just at the moment. So let's go and carry on over here. Oh, just 
steady again. Rather not to keep falling off everything like I have been doing so far. And let's start the fly puzzle. And off we go. All we have to do now is follow these arrows. Every time you slam it down, you get another little red X. You hit that red X, you get another arrow, and you keep following it. Can I, uh, can I swoop down here? Can I? Oh, come back and get you in a minute, Jinjo. I shan't forget about you. Let's smack down on that X. Come on. Boom! Alright, off to the next X. If you don't X, X will give it to you. Steady now. Steady. And boosh! Oh, I landed. I suck. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, that's another bit done, and take off again. Right. Every time, eh, Sean? Every time. <laughs> you love the jokes, really, mate, otherwise you wouldn't be tuning in all the time. And don't give me that I make you tune in. <laughs> You know that pun was great, and I feel great. And when it comes up with a question mark, the last bit is just down there. But I'm going to click these notes first. So I don't have to come back up here again. So, just tease it to the edge there, and then that edge there, and there we go. And woo, off we go. Right. Now to fight the chest. I'm gonna try and, uh, there we go. That's another jiggy. Now I'll play with the jiggies in this level. Like I say, well, we'll probably uh, you know fully do the second level here and make a start in the third level. I don't think I'll be able to do all of level three by well, midnight hour time, I don't know what time it is for everybody else that might be watching. But I think uh, two hours would be a good place to call it. And let uh, the real just Sean play some Borderlands for everyone. I well, quite fancy watching that myself, who knows? Maybe when he, when he does another Borderlands stream I might actually join him. Still need to play Borderlands 2 all the way through at some point probably could do a start in the pre-sequel, which I heard is actually a lot harder than the others. Right, what's this one got in it? Anything worthwhile? Oh, just eggs. Right, let's head up here, see what we can find. Ah, might as well get the token, they always come in useful. Oh, I am sucking so bad today. This is where the swimming aspect comes into being how bad it is and uh, there we go. Eco bulkum. I think I can only carry 50 feathers at the moment as well. I think you've got to get a chief for 100. Is that right? Yeah, I can only carry 50, so no point collecting any more. One good thing I liked about the Banjo Kazooie game as well, when you play Banjo to it, you keep all your skills from Banjo Kazooie. They all transfer over, even when you get uh, double feathers. Your health gets reduced a bit, but you can't expect perfection on that. Instead of making the excuse, oh, you've lost all your abilities, it's like, no, no, we're just going to give him you all. That's one of the things a lot of games should do. Instead of making excuses, why not try and find inventive ways to... Wait, oh, look, you've still got them. Carry on. Come here, Jinjo. Get yourself at the tip, wouldn't you? There we go. And that's all the Jinjos. Which means another Jiggy for me. Uh -huh. There's one down there. Can I just fall down and get it? I'm not trying to remember where it is. That one just there. Yep. 
straight in front of the next one. Now you're not supposed to do it that way. There was a jumping puzzle, but I know. When you, if you can, why not? these. Nope, that's landed in the water. I don't want to be in the water. Get out of the water. I'm going the wrong way. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. There's a shark on your ass. Get out of the water. I saw a flash press of police academy where uh, they put a gun to its nose says, please vacate the pool. They're like Pokemon, you gotta catch them all. Or oh, if you watch Brent or Floss, you've got STDs as well. You gotta catch them all. I still think it's one of the funniest videos Brent or Floss has done. The guy's a genius. If you've never seen him? Go and check him out. Highly recommend it. Any gamer would love it. Oh, I'll go down there. Get the other jiggy. Swim down, swim down. Alright, two more jiggies to get. I know mean, one of them is on the top, and the other one is in the sand castle. So, let's finish this level off then. Get these last two bits, and then I'll show everybody where the stop and swap items are, and then we'll move on to level three. We'll do as much of that as we can for now. Oh, fuck it, let's just fly up there. It's the other way to get the jiggy, but you're not supposed to do it that way. But, you know, it's quicker, easier, less fast. Whoops, that's gonna take damage. I'm supposed to do that attack move till further down. And then, whoop, no damage, and then just walk through there. Right, time to go and open up the sandcastle. Now, the sandcastle area is also the place where you enter all the cheats that you'll collect from the Cheeto. That's bad, I can't remember where the Cheeto page, I don't remember one of the Cheeto pages is. Not sure where the others are. That could be fun to look for later. Right. Where is it? There's me bucket. Bucket! And he wants something to block in, so you just go and uh, poop eggs into his bucket, which means B. Yep, yeah, there we go. You literally fart eggs into his bucket. He only takes two, thankfully. And now he'll clear up the sandcastle for you so you can get everything you need from there. So I feel the last of the notes are over there as well. Make it on top of the edge there. Well, I would have good to have the grip grab at this point in the game. Probably should have got these while the water was still up, but oh well. So I'll just go inside. I'll worry about that in a minute. One, two, two more on this side. Yep. And the last five, as you've seen, are on top of this other sandcastle, so I'll get that in a minute. So it'll be a puzzle. Yeah, it's really difficult. I've got to spell something, haven't I? Oh look, there's a giant word on there that says Banjo Kazooie. B. So I've just got to spell Banjo Kazooie on the floor. Nice and easy. And then you've got to defeat the uh, crab there. And he will, well, he won't be there to stop you from stealing the uh, the jiggy that's in the cage. There's the, there it is. Find the Z, which is over here. Oh, where's the other O? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Down here as well. Yep, yeah, there it is. Again, this is another example of why the camera angles are bad, but it's not as if this puzzle is very difficult. Come out here then, bro. 
One, and... Oh, that was really tough, wasn't it? So, let's just... Boop! And that's all ten chickies. Get a little groove on. Might as well pick that up for a good measure. But yeah, anytime you unlock a cheat page, it'll tell you how to spell it. You come in here, spell it on the floor, and you've unlocked the cheat. Simple as that. And those cheat pages do come in useful. Oh, I know there's a way to just jump on there. I just gotta remember how. Let's go from up here. There we go, that's better. Nope, still didn't make it. <laughs> oh dear me. Alright, let's try it. There, and then... Come on, Gazooie, you can glide better than that. I made this jump before, I know it's possible. Let's try it up from where Leaky is. Never a good name to give you, Bucket Leaky. Just asking for trouble, really, there, let's be honest. Actually, why don't I just go straight from up here? And... Whoop. And there we go. Get these last notes. There we go, 100 notes. If I just go into my totals, that should be everything. It sure is. Right. Let's uh, show you where the stop and swap egg will be. Bear in mind, you have to have a banjo to eat save file on your system for this to work. It's over here, isn't it? Otherwise, this is just a little mound in the uh, ocean and you actually can't do anything with it. But uh, if you're the banner to it, it's like this, it's up and you can, as you see, go inside it. Oh, you would spawn the shark right in front of me, wouldn't you? Let's get the extra life. Pop inside. There we go. Now this is actually quite a simple little jumping puzzle. Just gotta do this all the way around. Now take your time, there's not exactly any rush to do this. Kind of waiting for me just to epic fail it again, as I've been doing it. Sucking quite badly so far playing this. But, uh, nearly there. Keep going. And like I said, once you get to the top, it'll give you a stop and swap egg, which will unlock something you can use in the next Banjo Kazooie game. And likewise, it also unlocks stuff in nuts and bolts, but please, for the love of God, do not go and buy that game. I would feel bad for anyone purchasing it. Now, see, the egg's not here because I already do have it. I did it in my other save file, but this would be where it is. And, uh, yeah. Collect that, unlock some more stuff in the uh, next game. And we're back at the bottom. Time to leave the level. Why did I press X? Why did I do that? That's not smart. Get out of the water. There we go. Fuck my ass! <laughs> Stupid shot. Right. That's the end of level two, people. That's the old world. Collect the jiggy from the ship. And then head to uh, the next puzzle, which will unlock level three. You get in the, on your nerves what's in the overworld. Suck a dick. And there we are. That's another jiggy for the bank. That jiggy central in here. Just collecting them for fun. Right, this is where the bit will get quite a few because I've got to try and remember where puzzle free. Oh, steady now. I've got to remember where Puzzle 3 is. I'm not 100% sure. Come here. There we go. 
Hey, keep eating. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say there, is it, Sean? Right, let's unlock possibly the worst level in the entire of the game. Thank you. That's it. This level is probably going to infuriate me. It's where the camera angle really shows how bad it is. And the control scheme just, it wasn't made for this. And I am probably going to rage very hard. But let's have fun laughing at me trying to do it. First things first though, let's uh, hit the switch. Head over there and hit another switch. Switches everywhere. There we go. That should give me access to uh, Tilda's nicer sister again. There's something else up there as well. I think it's another button which unlocks the uh, the grate down there. Slipped. Slip and slide. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the failing again. Because I just suck. Come on. Up we go. There we go. Head around there. I'm not going to talk to you just yet. I'll be doing that on my own time and write everything down ready for the final level. There's no point looking at it now because we're still a ways away. We're only on level 3 of 9. Alright, that's that open. That goes there. And in we go. Now, time to get very ragey. And yes, I'm going to do the most stressful part first. Well, once I've done this little area, because there's not much really worth collecting around here, but still get on the collectibles for now. And whoosh! Suck a dick. Oh, forgot about you. That's one good thing, you do tend to recover a lot quicker, and you can just do the little peck move to stop yourself from taking fall damage as well. Let's get my health back, thank you. Alright. Right. Suck it, bitch. Took you out that time, didn't I? Gold feather? Because all gold feathers do come in useful later on for certain bits, but actually they come in useful on this level. It's a section that I could, you really need to use them on. Oh, I fell. Oh dear. Let's go up the other way this time. Suck it. Over there. Grab the gingers. Over here. Shut up, you. Alright, that's everything you need to do in this first part. Let's head to what could might possibly be the uh, end of my streaming career just because of sheer rage. It's infuriating. Just thinking about it, I'm getting quite irritated. But this is hardly the time to talk to someone who can't breathe underwater. back first. <laughs> I really don't want to do this bit again. I hated it so much the first time. Um, head over to the chain.
The music does not help matters. Yeah, you just gotta love the camera angle. And my advice is usually swim slow, stay behind the fish. And just follow it round. And he does actually uh, go through the key. So you'll keep your air. Uh, you fall behind, just give it a quick speed swim. Try not to go too far off like I just did. That's two. One more, and he's free. Oh, bloody hell. Mr. Bubble, Mr. Bubble. Right. Follow the fish, follow the fish. Thank you. Steady does it now. Oh, this is not fun. This is very frustrating. I'm shaking a lot. And that's free. That's uh, him free. Now I've just got to go to the notes. And the ginger that's down there. camera angle, god bless it. There we go. Right, now back down. I'll finish off collecting them notes. This is very frustrating. There we go. Right, carry on. Collected everything. Right. Unfortunately, I know for a fact I cannot make it back to the top of one bubble, but thankfully, everything you've done to this point is then saved, so. Oh, but well, that should be enough air to get me to the top. Let's hope, people, let's hope. And I'll just become the luckiest son of a bitch in the world if that's the case. Come on, up we get, up we get, to the top, to the top, come on. Come on, we're nearly there. Nearly there, nearly there, come on. Yes! Did the whole thing in one go. Damn, that was stressful. Thankfully, the rest of the level, very easy. Once that bit's done, it's a cakewalk from there. So, sigh of relief, carry on, and just say, suck it, Sean. First, uh, first jiggy of the level. It's an OET for hurting, I'll come and sort that out in a minute. Something tells me Sean's a bit salty. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> Ready now. What's the top? So, change from do it. There we go. Please don't knock me off, that is very annoying when it does that. <sighs> Sigh of relief after that. Yeah, this will definitely be my last level of the uh, of the play. Just because I think I need something to drink after that. And I didn't bring anything up here with me. So, don't worry, I am going to get all the notes and all the jiggies before I move on. 
That'll be uh, one third of the game done. Right. Before I start going inside uh, Clanker, I'm going to get everything that's available out here. Sean, you've got nothing to be salty about. I did offer to come and do that bit for you. Yes, I know what you are, but uh, if you don't excuse me, I just want to click the notes first. Ah! Uh, I fucked up, I fucked up. Alright, you're getting a beating. Oh, I'm going to get a beating instead. Alright, that's enough. That's one. And two. Give me back my health. Stop trying to kill me. This is not how I die. Oh, you're hiding under there. Come on, out you get. I'm two. Give me my jiggy. Is there another one? Oh, there's another one. There we go. Thank you. Have another jiggy people. That's three, seven more to go. Obviously, one of them is for collecting the Jinjo. <sighs> right, there's a trail of notes down here somewhere, I think, yeah, in that big pipe there. I think one good technique you're learning, Banjo, too, you do actually get to swim faster. And that does come in quite useful later. Oh, 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 I'm, 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 I'm messed up, messed up, don't mess up now. I'm turning around, I'm going everywhere. God bless classic gaming controls. Kids today, they just don't know the pain. Alright, let's head up here. Get some air. Ah, yes. Now, if you go under here, and then just up a bit, and then there you go. Honeycomb piece. Nice and easy honeycomb piece for you there. Just to get my oxygen back. And then we'll go and get another jiggy, which is just at the end of the tunnel, if I follow this bit down here. So, off we go. Swim right round here. Get the other jiggy. Ooh, if I can swim in a straight line. There we go. That's four. Swim and get back out. Stroke. 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 I don't understand why uh, Kazooie's name always comes second. She's probably the most useful character in this. She was all me running, all me swimming, all me attacking. Banjo's just like the, it's basically like the bodyguard of Kazooie, really, let's be honest. Right, uh, aha, there we are, down there. Through that hole, should be a Jinjo. There we go, the blue Jinjo. Two more to go. Here. Yeah. Right, let's take out uh, some teeth. It'll be nice like that. Make sure we get the aiming right. There's one on each side. There we go. Hey, I see you now. Swim into it. There's Jiggy. That's half the Jiggy's done. Head around the other side. You only get your token, but I do like to get the tokens wherever possible. And I'm not worrying about it at a later point in the game. Oh, 
Oh, come on. There we go. And just, uh, Oh. Eyes up, when I end up playing on a 360 game, all my friends start coming online. Come on, head over there, I don't need eggs. It's not really much use for eggs in this game, thankfully. Right, there we go, on there. Suck it, bitch. You just got knocked the fuck out. Shh. Those people aren't supposed to know about that, Sean. Be quiet. Right. And There we go. A couple of eggs. And we have a token. Well, not the greatest of loot, but... And then enough at all. I'm pretty sure you can go the other way, can't you? Yes, I can. So, aim that way, jump a little bit, and boing! There we go. Up the other side. Well, we're going to be doing that one again in a minute because I just give it a little taparoo there. Go! There's something else down here, but I can't put eggs. And an extra life. Right, and then we're gonna wait for him to get his uh, fin back up, and I can go back over there. And we'll do it again. Oh, no, you went the wrong way. I wanna go that way. And bong. Up we go. Does it? Just bring Kazooie out so I don't start sliding. All the, all the notes and jump. Stop it right now. Let's land down. And there's the last unicorn piece. And oh, I've got an extra bit of help. Just what's needed right about now. Uh, what else is left? Right. Get it from the tools. Alright. Halfway there, got all the. Oh, right. I think most of the rest now have to do with being inside the big guy here. Well, let's go and learn the uh, gold feathers ability first, because I do like to have that ability. I do take advantage of it quite a lot. Oh no, we forgot about that one. There's one more. We gotta go up here. Come on, shoot me up. There's lots to do yet, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm only doing the, the first three levels tonight. Steady. Ah, bollocks! I knew I was going to do that. Oh. Right, do it again. Sucking so bad tonight. 100% of this game shouldn't be this difficult. <sighs> right. Attempt number two. I want me on you in a minute, Sean. Problem is, I'm just too impatient. Every time I get someone, it's like, no, no, I'm going to start running, I'm going to start running, I'm going to start running. Oh, I fell. Well, that's another jiggy down. I don't need to do that. Let's get those gold feathers as well. Oh! Didn't press X in time. There we go. Got him. Over here. Oh, this is so annoying. Just swimming. Ah, 
And that's a, well, that was a paddling. Let's head up here. And jump. And make our way across. Bane of platform and this sort of thing. Jump out, jump in, jump out, jump in. No. Extra life. Oh yeah, I can't have any more than that. <laughs> Wish to remember that. Oh well, doesn't matter. Not as if we're short of lives, and not as if we're not plenty more to go within this game. Alright, All right, let's head in through the top. Wait for that to go back up, and we can jump in the hole. Come on. There we go. Activate the control the switch. Is this uh, the bit where Bottles is? I can't remember. Is he not? No? Oh! Well, I'm an idiot. Oh well, go back down a bit. <sighs> Let's carry on collecting stuff. Run around, run around, run around. And here we go. All these damn tentacles. Right. This is going to be fun. Ah, oh, missed it. Bollocks. Oh, the joys. Probably not going to have enough time to do this, but... Oh, actually, should be able to. Just, uh, I'm going to hit that tentacle again. Thankfully, Banjo Kazooie, they are very generous with time. Let's get out of here. We'll pick up my jiggy. Oh, do I, have to, I think I have to fly for that one, don't I? Oh, no, there we go. A little extra boost, is it? That's seven down. That was one that we already see. One for getting the gold feathers and one for uh, doing the gingos. I think the last gingos up here somewhere. Probably the worst of the uh, gingos to be left to last, but oh well. Uh, right. Got the other notes from down here. Make sure I don't swim out the hole at the end because that just takes me back out to the overworld. Well, not the overworld, but the outside of the shark. Right, stop, stop, stop. Turn, turn, turn. And. Oh yeah, you're probably right with that one, leaving the one that's uh, near the bottom near the... and you have to uh, release him. God, that is still frustrating. Thankfully, did that first time. Was very lucky, I have to say. I'm not chalking it down to skill at all. Alright. Back in here again. Oh god, love the camera angles. Ah, ah, we did it. Another jiggy down. Right. 
Oh, just where I want to be as well. Let's uh, head across. To where that gold feather is. And if I'm not correctly, that is where Bottles is, and he will give me my gold feather ability. There he is. Iron Arctic, this was very annoying because my old Xbox One controller was slightly damaged and the right stick didn't work very well. Right. Yes, I know I have. one of the notes, didn't I? Yes, I did. And once I've got that, that's everything for this level. Let's get out of here. In we go. Let's hope I don't screw up this time. I should be able to take that last note just in here. Oh, for God's sake. Swimming in this is my least favourite pastime. Right. Steady now. Come on. There we go. Yeah. And there we go. All 100 notes. So if I check my totals now, that should be everything. Yep. So that's everything for the first three levels. Let's just uh, vacate this area first. I'm glad I do not have to come back here ever again in my life. Because this will probably be the last time I play Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> just because of this level alone. As much as I do really, really love this game, this level is a put off. Although saying that, I'm on about the controls and the camera angles. Still far better than Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. has times per world. I didn't know that. In all my main save file, I was faster than most of this. I've just been really, really bad today. i been screwing up big time. But I think I'm going to call it there. First three levels fully completed. I will be back tomorrow afternoon. I'll probably try and do another couple of levels. Uh, but for now, please go and you were uh, my colleague at the Northern Drunk Tank. That is the real Just Sean. He's going to be playing some Borderlands for you this evening. But uh, for now, I think that's going to be uh, me, Richard James, aka Warlord UK. And uh, I'm going to leave you with this little game over scene. And then I'm going to sign out for you all. Oh, and please feel free to like us on Facebook. That's the Northern Drunk Tank. Uh, feel free to uh, give me a tweet if you like, at Warlords UK. And if you want to catch any of our other videos, or everything is uploaded to YouTube. Again, that's the Northern Drunk Tank. So uh, feel free to uh, give us a follow, a like, and a poke, or whatever. We're always happy to have some uh, critical uh, responses. We are still very new to all this. 
We're going, going live at midnight, eh, Sean? No problem. Well, there you go. We'll just Sean. We'll be playing Borderlands at midnight. And that's an ugly sister. But for now, this is Richard James, signing out for the night. Good night, people.